terminate you. Hallelujah. You know, there are just some people who are just so serious. They don't laugh. They don't laugh. Just tell them, but give me a smile. They will not arrest you. You are not a police officer. Greet your neighbor. Tell them, neighbor, just smile on me. Why are you serious like this? Are you a police officer? Do you want to arrest me? Holy Ghost fire on you. Clap hands for Jesus. Have your seat in the heavenly places. And uh, the Spirit of God is very sensitive. And, uh, there are some things that the Spirit of God will be speaking. It will take matured people to understand them. Maturity is not having gray hair. Maturity is the application of character. Hallelujah. So there are things that Jesus was a man of parables. Parables. And if you look at the teachings of Jesus, they were so controversial. <laughs> Very controversial. He looked at the Pharisees and he told them, say, you sons of vipers, you sons of snakes. It's not an insult. Huh? Vanabanyoka. Imagine. That's what Jesus said. He said, you sons of what? Vipers. Why are you running away from the judgment? Not only that. Another woman, she was begging for healing. And Jesus responded, why can I give what belongs to my children to dogs? Which means she was a big dog and the child was a puppy. Huh? That's the reason you come to discover that most of the teachings of Jesus they came to break the Pharisees teachings. Most of you, you have heard a lot of teachings. You have heard a lot of sermons. And most of the time when I bring a sermon in another context some of you, you'll be like ah, where, where is he removing it? So my teach, I want you to know that my teachings are not a strict teaching. 
my teachings they are they take maturity you don't just hear them with your ears you must learn them with a pen you must write not only write but you must read them because the moment you leave this place if you are not careful the teaching will leave you praise God Lift your hands and say, teach me, teacher. Say, teach me, teacher. So today we are looking at uh, something that is so phenomenal. And uh, I pray that uh, God will bless you. This is my prayer. I know some people, uh, they want prophecy. But I think this is the greatest prophecy that I can give you. Hallelujah. So I've told you that I'm starting ministry this Sunday. I'll be doing a lot of gymnastics. Gymnastics. Too much gymnastics. We'll be doing too much healing, too much deliverance, too much profit. Amen. Yeah, because for quite a long time, I've been concentrating on teaching my people. So I want to concentrate with uh, growing the church. Praise the Lord. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel. Shh, be in the spirit. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10. La roche diga. Ziga du shabasa. Masu shedish. Daniel. Aso jasasu Aso jasasu Are you there? Are you there? I want us to read verse 1 as we are going to stand. Stand upon your feet in leverance of the word of God. In leverance of the word of God. I'm going to read verse number 1. You're going to read verse number 2. I'm going to read verse number 3. Verse number 4. I'm going to read verse number 5. You're going to read verse number 6. Hallelujah. If your friend has got no Bible, please, I want you to share with them. I want you to share with them. And we are going to read on top of our voices. Praise God. Okay, let's read verse 1 together. 1, 2, 3, go. Verse 2, the Bible says, In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. Verse 3, 1, 2, 3, go. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, till three whole weeks were full. This is number 4, 1, 2, 3, go. And in the four and the twentieth day of Verse number five. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were gathered with fine gold of Husa. Verse six. His body also was like the berry and his face was appearance of lightning and his eyes a lamp of fire and his arms and his feet like in the color of polish, brace, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Whew. 
Verse number seven. One, two, three, go. Eight. I want us to go to Daniel chapter 9. Remember, we are coming back. I want us to go to Daniel chapter 9, verse number 1 to number 5. Okay? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. Verse number two, the Bible says, In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books the number of years. I, Daniel, understood by the books the number of years. Wherefore, the word of God came to Jeremiah. Desolation of Jerusalem, verse 3. And I set my face unto the, the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Verse 4. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. And I said, O Lord, the great and dead for God, keeping the covenant and the mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. Verse number five, we have seen and we have committed iniquity and we have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and uh, from thy judgment. May the Lord bless the reading of his way. I pray for you as the word of God is coming, receive understanding. Receive understanding. In the name of Jesus, as your left hand is lifted, May the spirit of understanding come upon you. In the name of Jesus. May revelation and insight in the knowledge of God come to you. In the name of Jesus. You shall not be the hearers of the word but doers of the word. In Jesus precious name. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Put your two hands for Jesus and take your seats. Right now in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Hmm. Verse number two of this scripture that we see. The Bible says in the first year of his reign. The reign of Darius. Now Darius was the king. And the Bible says, in this rulership of this man called Darius, the man was so much influential. The man had the ability to rule over the whole entire kingdom of Babylon. And if there in Babylon, there was a man 
by the name of Daniel. And Daniel is just a man, but he's a man who has an understanding of the spirit. The man was working with the king. The king was a politician. That's the reason every time when God raises a politician, if a politician is not spiritual, if he is not connected to God, then he is going to be connected to the witch doctor. It's either you are connected to God or you are connected to a witch doctor. That's the reason you see most of the kings in the Bible, most of the influential kings, most of the kings that were very, uh, 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 that we are very influential in the Bible. All of them, they had the prophets. Even King Saul. Even King Saul had a prophet. He had a prophet where he could listen from God through a prophet. That's a reason if you are a politician, you are a minister, you are a president of the country, you are a king of the country been given a territory to oversee or to rule, you can never rule based on your understanding. You will need the spiritual guidance. You will need the spiritual uh, leading, spiritual instruction. Because the Bible says there is a way. It is not just talking about ministers or president. It is also talking about uh, businessmen. Businessmen, pastors, uh, 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 entrepreneurs, all those people who are company owners. You can never lead or your company cannot come to manifestation without a prophet. There is a need of a prophet so that you can profit. The reason why God raises prophets is because it's for you to profit. That's the reason the Bible says by the hand of the prophet. By the hand of the prophet. Not just the hand. But also by the mouth of the prophet. God can lead the nation. So every time when God wants to lead you. As a king. Every time when you have. Or you want to pass a certain law. The first thing that you will do. You will go and consult. Consult from a spiritual man. That's the reason when David had the problem in the book of the second Samuel, the Bible said when he returned in the camp, he found that the camp was set on fire. And the Bible said the children and his wives, they were taken into captivity. And the Bible says that David and his mighty men, the men of valor, the men who were men of authority, men of influence, the Bible says they left their equipment and they began to cry. And every time when you see a man crying, which, which means it is very painful because men, they don't just, just, just cry just like that. So the Bible says that these men, mighty men, they began crying. And the Bible says they reached a point that the strength left them. And when the strength left them, the Bible says they began to mock David. They began to mock David. They began to tell him that we are going to stone you. We are going to stone you. In the midst of conflict, in the midst of calamity, the Bible says David the king. He went to inquire of the Lord. He went to inquire of the Lord. My question is that, where do you go when you have a problem? My question is that, who speaks a blessing when Who speaks a blessing when your ministry is stagnant? I ask you, where do you go when your husband doesn't want you? That he doesn't want to see your face. He doesn't want to hear anything about you. Where do you go when the company has chased you? Where do you go when everybody is against you? Where do you go when even your uncles have risen against you? Listen to me, child of God. The Bible says when men are to arise against David, the Bible says David went and inquired of the Lord. Can I prophesy? When other people are crying, you shall have solution. When other people are crying, you shall have solution. Rikush Adizo Sokopa. Regedo Sokopa Hatiti. See that? 
Where do you go when everybody, where everybody is against you? Your pastor is against you. Your boyfriend is against you. Everybody around you, they don't want to appreciate you. Even your boyfriend, the one that you helped, he doesn't want to appreciate you. Where do you go? I come to prophesy. I don't know who I am talking to. I don't know who is ready for this prophetic message. Your season has come. There is a divine direction. There is a voice from heaven coming to make a way where there seems to be no way. Where people say you will not go anywhere by the divine voice of God. I prophesy over your life. God is making a way where there seems to be no way. Shout hallelujah. Say now. You are too spiritual, you people. Where do you go? When you are so qualified, very qualified, you have master's degrees, you have PhD, yet you become an instrument of rejection. Where do you go when you are very beautiful? Every time you are in a relationship, you suffer disappointment like you are a mosquito. I don't know whom I am talking to. I, I don't know who I came here for tonight. I come to enforce change over your life. The Bible says, if God be on our side, who can be against us? I come to prophesy to you. The Lord is on your side. You are next on the line. You are next for the promotion. When other people are laughing at you, they shall see your rising. They shall see your rising. When people are laughing at you, they shall see your white wedding. They shall see your white wedding. When people are saying it is over, God is taking over. God is taking over. Shout, he is taking over. Say, 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 he is taking over. I feel the Holy Ghost, somebody. I feel the anointing, somebody. I don't know what's laughed at you. I don't know what's put a spell on you. I don't know what stood like a cat. That you should not enter your destiny. The Bible says. They shall come in one way. Scatter in several ways. I scatter your enemies. I scatter witches and wizards. You are entering your destiny. Enter without apology. Enter your job without apology. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is on your side. You are next to be employed. You are next to be married. You are next to be healed. The devil is a liar. When the God says yes, nobody can say no. I came to prophesy. You are blessed of the Lord. Out of your womb, nation shall come out. Shall I receive it? Ah. Are you listening to what I'm trying to say? Is there a woman here? Who is saying that I have been crying for a long time? I have tried to pray. I have tried to fast. I have tried to do whatever I can do. Nothing is waiting for me. The Bible says, when men began to attack David, the Bible said David went and the inquire of the Lord. Which means prophetically, God has, has prepared a place for solution. You came to this place. You came to this place. It is called the arena of solution. What failed other men of God? It shall not fail my anointing. Shall I receive it? Shall! Hey! The devil is a liar. The one who said you will not go anywhere. The one who said you will not have a solution. They shall see you shining. They shall see you shining. The Bible says, the path of the just man shineth brighter and the brighter and the brighter. When people are saying it is all, they will see you shining. 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 Say, I am shining. Say, my business is shining. My ministry is shining. The Bible says, arise and shine. For the light has come. Not the light will come. The light has come. Your miracle has come. Your car has come. Your house.
house has come. Your husband has come. Your money has come. Your millions has come. Your continental house. It has just arrived. Shall I receive and receive? Ereke toso suzia. Ikarushadia. Mekrosha la bahate. Mikarush. Zeko sopa. Ibrata dusha. Sit down. Woo! The devil is a liar. The devil is a bastard. I come to enforce change over your life. I don't know for how many years you have been in that condition. I don't know for how many years you have become a laughing stock. I don't know for how many years you have become a valley of sickness. I don't know for how many years you have been a valley of shame. The Bible says, for this cause, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy. Every handwriting of the devil, I rub it over your life. I rub it over your life. I rub it over your destiny. I rub it over your ministry. Every evil report, I rub it. Every demonic agenda, I rub it. Shall I receive you if you are ready for my mouth? Shall I receive it? It is risky 
not to take a risk. You are afraid, no. When I take this step, what will happen? Who, who is going to help me? Take a risk. If you don't take a risk, you are already in a risk. Ah! You are afraid to make money, yet you don't have money. Why can't you take a risk? If something happens, at least you have got something in your pocket. Woo! Karush Bahasa. Whatever fought your uncles, whatever fought your aunties, whatever fought your uncles, your grandmothers, I reverse the curse. I reverse the curse. I reverse the curse. I reverse the curse. You are too calm, sir. Are you listening to me here? David, he had to. I am not going with my family members. I know that this, they don't believe in me. They are like the brothers of uh, the brothers of uh, 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 Joseph. They don't believe in prophecy. They don't believe in my vision. It's better I go alone. I would deal with your girlfriend. I would deal with your aunties. I would deal with your in-laws. I don't know who is the in-law of the devil. I don't know who is the in-law of Satan. In your office. Hindering your position. Hindering your promotion. After today, they are deleted. I said they are deleted. Sit down. Satan has got in-laws. Lirush idia paronozo. Mashiki ya prokotozia. Desire taliga. This time, this time I'm not running away from him. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, fear not defeated them. You don't call your uncle. For so long, you have been calling your friends to help you. This time, it is not your friend. This time, it is not your colleague. This time, it is not, it is not your boyfriend. This time, it is Jehovah. Sit down. This time, I don't need your help. Turn about, I don't need your help. I don't need your assistance. I don't need your car. You have helped me for a long time. You have helped me for a long time. I want to buy my own. I want to buy my own. I want to buy my own. Take your money. I don't need your money. This time, I am giving you money. I am giving you money. Sit down. in life my son you must never fight with people because if you fight with people people they will take credit that they are the one who helped you man must never take credit man must never take the place of God that he is the one who made you pregnant Man does not make a woman pregnant. It is God. Man does the biological action. God does the final. Are you listening to me here? Are you listening to me here? Not a man to help you this time. Not your boss to help you this time. Not your uncle to help you this time. But this time it is Jehovah. Some... Is the problem you are a project, a massive project of help? This time, that's the reason it's not about powder. That's the reason the Bible says it's not by power, it is not by powder, it is not by lipstick, it is not by 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 your shape. It is not by your blazerian hair. 
it is not by your red lipstick. It is, uh, are you listening to me here? It is not by what? By powder. It is not by lipstick. It is not by connection. It is by the power of God. The devil is not afraid of how you are looking at, how you are looking like. When, look, when David was fighting, so you must understand that in the battle of life, in the battle of life, or in the army of God, God allows us to fight any battle. You are not yet matured. If you have never been, your heart has never been broken. You, you, you are not yet matured. You must first go through, through battles. Are you listening to me here? The Bible says, even when you go through the waters, the waters will not swallow you. Even when you go through the fire, the fire will not burn you. People, people, they, they have never seen your face. They have just heard your name. Just your name itself, it begins to make them shake. <laughs> this is the dance of the devil tonight. You know what? <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> there is what we call <laughs> a dance. Where you you know, people, they're just afraid of you. They are, they are just intimidated. You have come to take over. I have a spirit of takeover. certain battles. So David now is fighting against Goliath. Now this time the armies of Israel, they were going as a group. But you must understand if we go as a group, we will have a fight against ourselves. Because there is only one throne for a man called David. That's a reason God must allow you to fight battles alone. He must allow you to confront the devil alone. This time David is going alone. He's not having any instrument. He's using the name of the Lord as his shield, as his protector. He's not using his degrees. He's not using his master's degrees. He's now putting his whole trust in the name of the Lord. He said, if I die, I die. If the Lord serves me, he serves me. So this time, David is, is going along. And the Bible says, he reached the valley. Say the valley. Lift your right hand and say the valley. the valley. Most of you, you are going through valleys of dry bones. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel 37, the Bible said, then the hand of the Lord carried me in the valley of dry bones. And the Bible said there were very many and they were dry. Some of you, your situation is dry. David was in the valley. That's where there was the battle. David versus Goliath. David was a small man. He, he, he was a small man in stature. Don't look at me the, the way I'm looking. Don't be, don't be deceived by my body. There is an AK-47 inside. If you touch me by mistake, I kill you. You temper with my wife, I molest you. You dare with my ministry, I ponder you. to come. Very calm. Very, very calm. Come like a chicken. Some of you look like they have poured water on you. You look so apologetic. You walk so apologetic, so defeated. You can even see by the walk, a person, a woman when she enters the church, you will see by the walk. Defeated walk. A 
lady, she's, she's 30 years. Look at the wrinkles, like a jean. Who has bewitched you? What, can, what kind of distraction is that? 30 years, wrinkles like this, like a jean, like a grandmama. the valley. There are most of you, you are in valleys of problems. Valleys of sicknesses. Valleys of HIV. Valleys of financial dryness. Now, David is in the valley. And there is Goliath. Goliath is determined to kill David. But before the battle begins, I love the courage of Mr. David. Is before Goliath. He does not look at the stature of Goliath. The enemy and the devil, he has a lot of statures. He can transform himself. But you must understand that uh, the God that is inside you is uh, bigger than the one who is before you. So, David now before Goliath, he begins to testify. That's a reason when you are in the valley, the greatest instrument of encouragement, it is to look what God did for you. There are some times when I look at where God picked me. You are not there when I was suffering. God delivered me from lions. God delivered me from bears. God delivered me from people that were supposed to kill me. So I am now before Goliath. I must begin to testify of his goodness, his mercies. And you listen to what I'm trying to say here. I don't know whether God delivered you from something. I don't know whether you have a testimony. I don't know whether God delivered your marriage. I don't know whether God delivered your ministry. But David began to testify. He said, the Lord that delivered me from the mouth of the bear, from the mouth of the lion, he shall surely deliver me. I prophesy to you, your testimony is bringing many testimonies. Your testimony is bringing many testimonies. Shout hallelujah. Yes. See that? Is there somebody who says I was in trouble? I had no money and the God became my provider. I was sick and God became my Jehovah Jireh, my Jehovah Ebenezer, God that helps his own people. Is there somebody who says things were tough for me? God became my Jehovah Jam protocol. Things turn around for me. I looked at where God picked me. I looked at how many battles I went through. I looked at how many people were against me. In the midst of many enemies, the Lord lifted my head. He says, he says, your cup, your cup shall overflow. I shall anoint, I shall anoint your head in the presence of your enemies. You look at me like this, eh? You look at me like this. You think I'm, 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 I've gone through a lot. Sit down. One of my encouragement, even when men, men leave me, even when men forsake me, even when men bring funny, funny stories, I look at where God picked me. I looked at how many battles God has fought for me. I was supposed to be dead a long time. It is not the hand of a man. This is the hand of Jehovah over my life. This ministry, it is for God. Nobody can bring it down. You know what Jesus said? He said, upon this rock, I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Can I prophesy to you? Your testimony will not allow the devil to prevail. If you are too big 
to testify you are too big for your miracle. I looked at where I started from. I looked at where I started from. We started as six people. I began prophesying from the first day. Second day, they began to multiply. They began to multiply from, from, from seven people to 21 people. The other week, we are many. And every time I encounter battles in ministry, even when sons arise against me, I look at where I started from because he is the Alpha. Go to the Alpha. When I go to the Alpha, he will take me to the Omega. Sit down. Hey, when I face a battle, I go to the Alpha, and the Alpha will take me to the Omega. May the Alpha take to, take you to your Omega. Sit down. I look at even people that are... he began to testify. He said, The Lord who delivered me from this sickness, the Lord who delivered me from this lion that was supposed to eat me. The Bible says, When men, when men arose against me, they would have eaten me and swallowed me alive. Have you ever had such kind of a situation where everyone, everyone is against you? You know that you have a call that your, your brothers, they don't believe you. They don't just believe you. You must understand. You must understand. There are people in life that you must not go with. If you carry them to the battlefield, they'll look at Goliath and they'll begin to cry and urinate. Dogs are not needed for the battlefield. Do you know what coward dogs do? Coward dogs, when they see a big dog, you know what they do? They urinate. They urinate. And they begin to do. You are not a dog. You are not a dog. You are a lion. You are born from the family of the lion of Judah. When you roll, I in a scatter. When you roll, yes. sit down. I am not a dog. I am not a chicken. I am not a god. I am a lion. I am born a lion. I speak as a lion. I walk as a lion. I talk as a lion. I move as a lion. I sit as a lion. I drive as a lion. I enter office as a lion. I pray as a lion. I fast as a lion. Shout hallelujah. When I speak to you, you will feel like your spirit wants to jump. They are men when you meet them. The moment they speak to you, even your pancreas do this. It will begin to bubble. There are men that carry authority. People that think authority it is a throne. Authority is not a throne. Authority is a personality. How come the police officer he will leave his office without carrying his chair, his throne, and go on the road? A short boy with a very ugly, very black, like he's from Toyando. <laughs> or from Mamelody, very black. Even when he laughs, you only see teeth. A short boy, a short, 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 short boy with a short leg and short hand. And you coming very big, you just do like this. 
boss, stop. With your pot belly, with your anointing, your anointing will be impounded. <laughs> Impounding the anointing by a dwarf. So authority is not the chair. Authority is a personality. So in the battles of life, you must learn not to work with people. You must delete some certain people out of you. That's the reason. One of my spirit. Some people when they look at me say, Ah, this man. When you look at me physically, you say, I'm I'm too proud. Very proud. You will mistake my boldness to pride. I am too bold. I'm not afraid. Bring even your boss, you see. Fire on his head. Fire will ascend on him. We are not just talking the kingdom just, just, just by ways. We are bringing the kingdom of God into reality. These are reality things. If I wanted to be a comedian, I would have been. This is not comedy. We are speaking words of power. That's the reason you come here, you are sick, you get healed. So you must understand, when you are fighting battles in the valley, you must have the ability of testimony. Are you listening to me, sir, in white? Are you listening to me, sir, in white? You must be able to testify. The way to testify it is to speak forth of the doings of Jehovah. Amen. Even if he has not done anything. <laughs> Even if he has not blessed you. The breath that you breathe is a blessing. Amen. So you begin to testify. Your husband is beating you. You don't look at your husband. You look at God. You say, oh God, I thank you for this man. Rokia Duzalia Girata. You put tongues. Not, not these apologetic tongues. You take fire rice tongue. You take his suit. His boxers. You put them on the bed. You say, Bakunda Bazooka. be crazy. You ladies, <laughs> where your husband goes there? Hey, he's in trouble. Is this mosquito net? That's the reason every day when he's about to go, <laughs> take his suit. Kuzali <laughs> Adiza. You take his shoes. You take. <laughs> you take his shoes. You take my anointing oil. <laughs> Anointed. <laughs> you say, as I touch your shoe, you will not go to demonic places. <laughs> Are you listening to me here? <laughs> In his lotion, you take anointing oil. You put there. He said, Duza, Zuzu, Ziga. Him, he doesn't know. He applies. He just say, "What is happening?" He begins to manifest. There are some of you are, begin to testify. There is the power of testimony. Ah. One day, I wanted money. I wanted money. I said, "When I go in that man's office, I took the anointing oil." I drank it. I said, Guzia Ligaros. My tongue shall be sharpened like a laser blade. Before I meet the boss, I've already captured him by testimony. There is nothing that is so powerful than testimony. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Testimony is a platform to be, to be a victor. Do you want to 
want to be a victor? Huh? Then you must testify. So he began to testify. He said, the Lord that delivered me, that delivered me from the mouth of the lion, from the mouth of the bear, he will surely deliver me. So in life, there are three battles you must fight. There are three battles. Number one, the battle of the lion. Right. The battle of the lion. battle of the lion. Number two, the battle of the bear. Number three, the battle of Goliath. Number four, the battle of the brothers of Goliath. Hi. Have you discovered that the last month you were fighting against a lion? You killed the lion. The other month, it was a bear. After confronting and killing the bear, now this time, it is Goliath. After killing Goliath, David thought that the battle, it is over. That's the reason most of you, you lose battles. You have just killed Goliath and you have stopped fighting. You just got your salary yesterday and you stopped working very well. They just promoted you yesterday. Yesterday. And now you are coming late. Like it is your uncle's job. Or office. And you are coming so majestically. My uncle. Eh, that man is your uncle. There is battle of the lion. Lion don't fight with hyenas. That's the reason if I tell you that I can't fight with you, I know. I, I will finish you very fast. You can't fight. Do I have a man who is tall? He is very tall. Very tall. Very, very tall and big. Come here. Come here. How are you? Huh? Are you okay? Huh? I'm okay, Pastor. You're okay. Can you beat me? <laughs> I don't have power in my hand. Huh? Are you strong? Yes, I'm huh? strong. I'm very strong. Huh? Yes. Be strong, be strong. Be strong. I'm very strong, yes. Are you strong, eh? Yes, very strong. Very strong. You're strong? Huh? Yes, Pastor. Are you strong? Yes. Yeah. Ah. David versus Goliath. Are you strong? Huh? This is the battle that you encounter every day. There are some certain things when you look at them, you say, This is over my size. This is this is over my strength. It is beyond my strength. How am I to fight it? I, I want to show you how to fight battles that are beyond your strength. Between this man and me, who is tall? Is him. But spiritually, I am the one who is taller than him. Are you strong, sir? Huh? Yes, I'm strong. Huh? Yes, I'm strong. Pastor. You're very strong. Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. You're very strong. Yes. I want to see if I can punch him. Huh? Can I, huh?
come, 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 come. Are you strong? I want you to be very strong. Do like this. Huh? 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 Receive gymnastics to defeat your enemies. Karusha di Kazusa. See now. This is what we call the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't look at the stature of your enemies. You look at the one who is in you. You say, greater is he that is in me than the one that is in him. Are you listening? Hey, look, he is very strong. In fact, if you look at me very... Stand here. Stand here. Just stand here. Huh? Stand here. It's very simple. Why am I using my hand? Huh? Haven't you ever seen people here? Very, very powerful. Huh? There are like two or three where I have gathered in my name. There I am in their midst. Huh? You see, very. I remember one day I suffered. Even my ashes, I, pray, I just prayed. They said, God, give strength to my ashes. Ooh, that lady... I prayed, I said, God, I pray for protection for my ashes. Because if she dares to fall on my ashes, it is an assault. to throw the power to anyone. Because now I have understood how to fight spiritually. Because spiritual battles are not fought with physical weapons. How? How did it go? Huh? How did it go? Huh? How did it happen? May you make your boss to jump out of that chair. And may you take over the chair. In Jesus mighty name. So it is very easy. So now take this one. Go and use it now. It's very easy. That's the reason you see, you see, I'll be doing like this. And a man will be jumping. When you understand the power that you have in the battle, you stop, you stop panicking. But remember that there are how many battles that you must fight? Four battles. Number one, the battle of the what? The lion. What is the meaning of the battle of the lion? Lion is the king. Of the jungle. Now, the first battle, when you came out of your mother's womb, you were fighting against the king of your family. The king of your family, it means the authority, the power of your family. There is the power that controls your family. There is a spirit that controls your family. There are powers of limitation, powers of stagnation, powers of divorce, powers of HIV. 
And the day when you were born by blood, you began to fight against the lion. That's a reason your battle, you must understand, your battle started from your mother's womb. Your battle started from your mother's womb. That's the reason if you look at your family, no one is married, no one has children, no one is employed, no one has a better job, no one, no one has a car, no one has a house, everybody is poor. It is a family authority. The family authority is given the power, the audacity to keep people on one level. That's the reason there is no progress because there is the king of that tribe. Let me tell you, every tribe has the king. Every tribe has a king and every tribe has its own culture and the systems. That's a reason you must understand when, when you are fighting the first battle, the the battle. It is the battles where you deal with family forces. You deal with generational spirit. You deal with sotai spirit. You deal with spirits of divorce. This is the first battle, most of you, that you have left. You are always concentrating. I will show you. You are always concentrating, concentrating about your finances. No. Deal first with the family that you were born from. Look at, look, look, look at your mother very well. Look at your mother very well. Look at your uncles very well. Look at your father very well. Your father had the two of women and you are about to take over from him. You are about to take over. <laughs> you, <laughs> you <laughs> the first battle, it is a battle where you must deal with family forces. Premature death, spirit of limitation, spirit of uh, uh, sickness, high blood potential, limitation, all manner of spirits. You must deal with them in the first phase. In another way, at conception, Number two, the battle of the bear. <laughs> the battle of the bear. Now, the bear is an animal that has the ability to stand upright like a man, walk like a man, and is one of the strongest animals that is able to live on the earth and also in the sea. It eats meat it eats vegetables. And its jaws are so strong to the point that it can break the bones. So the battle of the bear, the battle of the bear is a battle of flesh and the blood. Flesh and blood. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. So now in this level, you are dealing with powers of the land. Because now you have been delivered from your what? From your, from your womb. Now you have gone to a place. Each and every place there is a principality. There is a power that has been given the ability to monitor all the activities in that place. That's the reason there is a principality here in Johannesburg. There is a principality in Tembisa. There is a principality in Soweto. You look at even the people from Soweto, they differ from those in Tembisa because of the kind of power that manipulates them or that controls them. So each and every place, there is a power that you must deal with. And that power... It enforces people to do things to make people to be very weak spiritually. That's a reason when you enter in some certain places, you find that you used to pray and no, now you are no longer praying because you have entered a wrong territory. Say the battle of flesh and blood. Now, that's a reason when you read the book of Daniel, the, the book of Daniel chapter 10. Remember, remember the scripture I read to you. The Bible says when Daniel prayed for 21 days, 
when he went back to the book, when he went back to the book, the book of what? The book of prophecy that was written by prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah had written the prophecy that the children of Israel, after 70 years, they must come out from captivity. And when, 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 when Daniel began to pray, when he went back to the book, he found that 70 years had passed, the children of Israel, they were in captivity. How come that your prophet says that you must get married in December, yet you are single? Huh? How come your prophecy says that you must be healed tomorrow, but you are sick? There is a power, a territorial power that you must deal with. That's the reason when you enter a certain place, the Bible says you can never enter a strong man's house until you bind him. There is a strong man of every house. So, let me ask you a question. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? And where do you stay? And what kind of a power that is in that place? There are most of you, you stay in places where they drink beer, even if you don't want to drink. You find yourself picking one. You say, no, 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 I'm anointing myself. It was an anointing service. Look, how come you are in a place where they are drinking, they are drinking beer? Even if you don't have the appetite of beer, if we live just for beers, huh, there shall be beer rapture. Who we'll ask, no, no, who has taken it? Say, no, 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 the angel of the Lord. <laughs> Not that you want to drink, but the place has the ability to contaminate your flesh. That's the reason Apostle Paul said, every time I find myself trying to do good, I find myself doing evil because of a place of influence. That's the reason, as you are here, uh, uh, we, you are being influenced by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is the power here. There is the power. That's the reason you are under the influence. When you are out of this place, yeah. That's the reason you, you stop coming to this church Your problem You'll be under the influence also Of the devil You come in this place Under the influence of the Holy Spirit He delivers you You stop coming You are under the influence of your uncle That's the reason when The battle of the bear Is a battle of flesh and blood It's whereby there is a power That controls your flesh To do evil most of you, you are, you are not having, you are not having battles of, uh, uh, battles from the womb, but you are having battles of your body. You are struggling with some certain issues. You are struggling with emotions. You are struggling with unforgiveness. You are struggling to forgive your mother, your uncle. That is the battle of the bear. Number three. Battle of Goliath. The battle of champions. The battle of Goliath, when you lose it, no throne for you. You can lose these other battles of lions and bears. But this one of Goliath, if you lose it, you'll be in the bush. Which means there are some battles you must never lose. The battle of Goliath is not a returned match. It is once and for all. Which means there are opportunities that will come your way once. And those opportunities carry your miracle and your greatness. That's the reason you discover that the children of Israel, they were running away from Goliath, yet David was running towards Goliath. Which means, what your friends are running away from, it is what will take you to your promotion. So what God will do 
for him to promote you, he will create a vacancy. He will create a problem that no one can solve, only you. So if you must have more money, you must solve more problems. More money in the pocket, more problems you solve. That's the reason. The reason why your, 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 your boss employed you is because he knew that you have the ability to solve the problems of the company. So while you are solving the problems of the company, they are paying you. So, the battle that the children of Israel they were running away from, it was the same battle that made David. To be king of Israel. So the battle of David and Goliath must never be lost. Because it is the battle of a trophy. It is a battle of promotion. The, these battles of, of lions and bears, there is no promotion. But the battle of Goliath, there is a promotion. There is a throne waiting for you. So you must fight bearing in mind that there is a throne waiting for me. So the battle of uh, 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 Goliath it is a battle of what? Champions. And you must never lose. Tell me about you must never lose. Tell me about you must never lose. Tell about you must never lose. You must never lose. Look, there are some people, there are some people that when I look at them like this, I'm able to know what you are thinking. Just looking at you. I didn't know what you are thinking now about me. Yeah, I know. Just ask me, Uzi. Shh. Just you look, looking at me. You see the way right now you are concentrating on me, isn't it? Huh? You have got many eyes. Huh? You people, you have got many eyes here. Me, I've got only two. But when I look at all of you like this, I'm able to zoom you. To bring you close to me. And know each and everyone's problem. Even from a distance. I can know. Are, are you listening? There's a reason when you come towards me. It is a battle. Between. A spiritual Goliath inside you and me carrying the anointing. Most of you, you can't fight Goliath. But the anointing that you are connected to can fight battles against you. That's a reason if you don't want to, if you, if you are a coward, if you are a coward, greatest thing you must do connect yourself to an anointed man I was telling my son Pastor Charles Pastor Charles I told him I said listen sir you are under divine protection you are under divine protection there are some certain instructions I will give you they are prepared for but when you sit down when you sit down like this so the battle of Goliath it is a battle of your promotion, my son. There are some certain places where they will give you the microphone to preach. You don't preach to laugh. You preach to die. You preach to kill. I was in Tanzania one day. They invited me. said, okay, it's time for you to preach. I was still a little boy. I said, Kuzalia Barusha Diaka. This, this favor, it will not come again. If the Lord does not take me on top, then I don't know. The instrument that I have is this. I remember I preached.
preached a message that everyone they could not stand up. All of them they were down. When the Lord wants to take you on top, when the Lord wants to take your ministry on top, He will first allow you to defeat Goliath. If you have never defeated Goliath, you are not ready for promotion. You are not ready for the next level. Are you ready for the next level? Are you ready to kill Goliath? Huh? If Goliath is still alive, no throne for David. If your Goliath, Goradias Galahatosh, if Goliath is still alive in your life, there is no promotion, no healing, no marriage, <laughs> no car, no house. So the battle of what you and Goliath is a battle of promotion, breakthrough. It comes, it comes with miracles attached to it. That's a reason. If it is Goliath that you must fight in your career, fight him until he dies. Goliath must not remain alive. Goliath, it is to kill. You know, you know, you know, you know. You know, there are some certain people, one day someone asked me a question. He said, Papa, uh, wh why do you pray against, against, against enemies? Against witches and wizards? I say you love them. Why do you pray against witches and wizards? I said one thing. I know there are scriptures that say, Lord, do not allow my enemies to die so that they can see my glory. But this time with Goliath, I don't want my enemy to live. Jesus said, pray for your enemies. Isn't it? But he did not tell us the kind of prayer. He did not tell us the kind of prayer. So it is me personal to select what kind of a prayer suits my enemy. If it is die, it is good for me. There is a time to pray for your enemies. You want to pray for your enemies, you don't have a car. Even the one car you have, they want to take it. That's the reason Isaiah chapter 6, the Bible says, when King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Someone must die for someone to be enthroned. <laughs> if you... <laughs> If Saul doesn't die, there is no throne for David. So, David must wait for Saul to die. That's when his promotion must come. There are most of you, you have allowed your enemies to live for quite a long time. That's a reason your promotion has also taken long. Because they have lived for a long time, they are still holding your promotion. So what we must do? Abashwe. Aba. Shwe. Aba shwe. Aba shwe. Ah? Aba. 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 Aba shwe baroi. Baroi bak toya kotoyando kwat toyando abashwe. Those who fly on the plumes, on the plumes. Those who 
Zufra in your house without permission. If your boss, if your boss, you know, okay, 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 witchcraft, witchcraft is beyond. Witchcraft is not just flying on the broomstick. You are in Jamaica, no. It's not, <laughs> it's not like that. Witchcraft is beyond. Witchcraft, okay, witches are beings. Witchcraft is an empowerment. So, the spirit of witchcraft, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are people, they are only employed to practice it. They, they are good, it is their specialization. They are even gazetted just for that. Just for witchcraft. They are, they are hired like a man called uh, uh, they are also prophets who are hired to be witch. Which means that witchcraft is a force that can stick or cleave on a man or on a person. So the spirit of witchcraft can go and cleave on the life of your boss. That's the reason when, De when, when Daniel prayed for 21 days, the Bible says the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, this was an influential, the, uh, influential, in, influential son of the of a king. The man was 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 uh, the spirit of witchcraft ascended on him, and he began to stand against the prayer of Daniel. So there are people that have been influenced, bosses that have been influenced by the spirit of witchcraft. They will take the document. They will see your name. But in order to stick you or to tick you for promotion, the spirit of witchcraft will cause them to be blind. So what we must do here, Uzziah must what? Die. So must what? Die. I prophesy to 11 people. All those that are watching me on DDTV. I, I prophesy over your life. Every battle of Goliath. Let it take you on top. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. The last battle. When David defeated Goliath. Goliath was, David was so reluctant. Which means when you are promoted, you must put it in your mind that they are brothers of Goliath. Not only brothers, but also Goliath had girlfriends. So David killed someone's husband. So every time when you kill Goliath, you must put it in your mind that there is brothers of Goliath that are coming for me. They are annoyed. They are sons of Goliath that are coming for me. They are annoyed. They know that you have bastardized their father. So what they are going to do, they are coming for you. And when they come for you, they are coming for real business. They are not coming to joke. They are coming to kill you. Now, the last battle, this is what we call the battle of life and the death. The battle 
of life and death. Because this time when they are coming for you, you have, you have killed their father. <laughs> this time they are, they are coming for They are well prepared. They carry machete. They carry AK-47. Just for you. They carry machines. They carry their enchantment. They put zadlism in their, in their waist. They carry their charm. They carry their handkerchiefs. They carry all manner of things in their waist. They are coming for you. Coming at, for your marriage. Coming for your ministry. Coming for your, for, your, for your business. Coming for your career. They are coming for serious business. They are coming to kill you. So that battle, it is called the battle of life and death. It is either them die or you die. As a result, this last battle, this last battle involves the demons of hell. Demons of hell, they arise against you. And, and look, 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 look. This time, this time, you have defeated Goliath. But now you come to discover Goliath had how many brothers? How many? Five. Almost five. Five, five to six. Five to six brothers. Now this time it is not Goliath. This time it is five people. So which means the last time you were fighting Goliath, Goliath was one. But this time you are fighting against legion. You are fighting against what? Legion. That's the reason the Bible says when a demon has been casted out of the house, it does not go to a far place. It goes to the desert. It checks to see whether the person has, mentored or, or, uh, 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 has uh, 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 maintained the deliverance. If the person has not maintained the deliverance, the Bible says they shall come with seven more wicked demons. Which means Yesterday you killed Goliath. But this time, it is not Goliath. This time is the whole hell. Hell has broken loose against you. Hell is against you now. They know that this person, he has become dangerous in our kingdom. If we leave him, he's going to destroy a lot of things. So what we are going to do, we are going to try to plot for an accident so that he can die. That's the reason the Bible says, putting on the full armor of God, knowing that days are evil. Now you know that the devil, the devil is against you. His soldiers is against you. Wicked demons are against you. Now you are not fighting Goliath. You are fighting the whole entire kingdom. I prophesy to you. When the hell breaks loose against you, Jehovah will come with his army. In the name of Jesus. This time, you are not fighting. You are, you are, you are not fighting now. You are not fighting one person. You are fighting the whole entire army. Are you listening? Phew. Come here, come here. All of you, come here. Taken their throne. They are not happy with you. Now. They have formed what we call the cobweb system. They have created a network. That's the reason wherever you go, people, they are against you. Because the Satan is a very well-organized devil. Are you listening to me here? That's the reason he's against you. He has manipulated your uncles, manipulated your aunties, manipulated your boss. He's just against you. on your throne you think you are one person one person and you are fighting against many battles there are many things that are surrounding you 
battles of disappointment, battles of limitation. This one wants to kill you in a car accident. All of them, they are around you. Where are you going to run to? Where will you run to? Jesus. The Bible says at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow whether they are 5,000 whether they are 10,000 they shall come against you but they shall not prevail. Amen. Jehovah is with you. Amen. Jehovah is with you. Amen. Shall I receive? I receive. Jesus. Are you saying this? That's the reason when they are coming thousands of them. <laughs> you use the name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Amen. The name that is above sickness. Amen. The name that is above your boss. Amen. The name that is above your uncle. Amen. The name that is above Satan. Amen. When you mention it, even the kingdom of the devil begin to shake. Say Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands. Say Jesus. Jesus. This name, when 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 you mention it, even sickness obeys. See now, are you listening to me here? Now battles are around you. Now what do you do now? You don't have where to run to, huh? You don't have where to run to. Everyone is against you. Now, you use the name of Jesus. May the Lord baptize you. May the Lord baptize you. I see. With authority over your tongue. I see. In the name of Jesus. I see. May the Lord baptize you. I see. With power I over your tongue. I Have you seen what you do? When now they come for you, you don't get afraid. Now you stand like John Cena in the midst of Undertaker and Okogan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Now they are against you. They say, We are going to kill this boy. And you listen to me here. You use what you call spiritual techniques. You use the name of Jesus. That's the reason I have come to discover. Every time when I mention the name of Jesus. Even those. Even those that are against me. They begin to salute. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. This name. It's so great. Are you listening to me here? Lift your hands. Shh. Lift up your hands. This name of Jesus. Stand, stand up. There's something. Take. Take. Jesus. Stand up. Jesus. Bring me here. Your doors must be opened. That demon that is hindering your finances. Look at me. Look at me. Jesus. Lift him. Lift him. Lift him. Lift him. That demon from your family. Fight. Jesus. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Jesus. Who are you? Who are you in, in this body? Jesus. Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess. Every tongue shall confess. Jesus! Leave it. Cut! It's free.
Lift him. Bring him here. Come here. Come here. Accident. Huh? Accident is following you. Huh? The Lord says your finances are open. When I'm prophesying to him, I'm not prophesying only to him. The Lord says your finances are open. There has been a lot of financial stagnation. I see seven doors opening for you. Take in Jesus' name. Yo, stand up. Come here. I want to make you to be a millionaire. The Lord says you shall touch money beyond your size. The Lord shall lift you even to places that have never been. The Lord shall open up doors, even those that have never entered. The Lord shall give you property, even those that have never had. The Lord shall introduce you to places that have never been touched. Ah! I prophesy. May your life turn around three times. Turn around three times. As you are turning around, also your life is turning around. Erosoko prosia, isharata tiza, rusha bahata. I see money entering you, success entering you. Receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I open your doors. I open your millions. In the name of Jesus. 24 people hearing the sound of my voice. By the following day, that battle is taking you on top. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand, shout, I receive seven times. The Lord is. The Lord is saying, even those things that you have been desiring to do, because the Lord is making you to be a platform of intelligence. What I mean is that you are too intelligent, but the devil has locked your mind. You are too intelligent, but the devil has locked your mind. I come to open up your mind. I open up your mind. Ideas are coming for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up your mind. Take. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. The Lord says, take this, take this, take this, take this. The Lord is going to favor you. Come here, come here. Bring him here. Come. Bring him here. A demon from your father. Come back. You shall be so intelligent. Even you, you shall be so intelligent. In the name of Jesus. Eric Azul Ali Akato. I open up your destiny in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you come here, 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 come here. The Lord says, as you are turning four times, as the power is going to touch you, the Lord says, all your doors are going to open. In the name of Jesus, oh, you are just looking, you are just looking, you are just looking, you are just looking. Your doors are opening also. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You lady, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. The Lord says, as you touch your stomach, you are receiving your baby now. Turn around, turn around, turn around. It is done, it is done, it is done. I see miracles, miracles, miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Take, take. Miracles, miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Lift up your hands, say, I receive. Say, I receive. Say, I receive. Come here, two, two of you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. The Lord says that as you are going to touch your head, money shall come upon your hands. Money shall come upon your hands. 
Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Touch your head, touch your head and turn around two times. Fire! Fire! Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. No more financial cases. No more financial cases. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Money, 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 money. Money! Money, 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 money. Fire! 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 Lift your hands, lift your hands. Turn around two times, turn around. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Every case, every case, every case. It is dropping away from your hands. Away from your hands. Away from your life. 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 Lift your hands. Claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it, claim it. Sharatati Irushaba Rikusha Digosus Erika Sukapa Meshedi Ataru Shali Abarate Rosha Diga Dusa Diata Rikatu Sia Kia Dush Derush Derush Baroso Ibroso Irusha 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 Irusha, Irusha, devil, lose my people, lose my people, lose their finances, lose their marriages, lose their contracts, lose their babies, lose their babies, lose their mothers, lose them, 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 lose them. Loose them, loose them, every power, every power, every power, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, clap your hands, clap your hands, every power, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Come out, come out, leave it, leave it, come out, come out, come out, come out, every power, every power, every power, loose them, 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 pray, 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 clap your hands, shake yourself, shake yourself. Rosha diga diga, Maracoshopa, Mika Ricas. In Jesus, my dear. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Up your hands. The Lord says, I must tell you, even your doors that were opened. They shall remain open forever. The way you are answering is like you are not ready. The way you are answering is like you are not ready. Even those that were closed by powers from your family. The Lord says they have opened for you. They have opened for your destiny. They have opened for your children. They have opened for your company. They have opened for your ministry. They have opened for international door. Enter wherever you want to enter. Have whatever you want to have. Have better cars. Have better houses. Shall I receive it? The Lord says, Amen. As 
you come this Sunday, Amen. the Lord says, as you continue testifying Amen. during this week, Amen. you are simply piling up your testimony Amen. for the coming Sunday. Amen. Shout fire. fire. Lift your hands. Shout fire. fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Lift up your hands. There are, there, there's some people that God is going to deliver right now. It's going to deliver. I thought that this week we are starting ministry, real ministry. Amen. I'm more interested in growing up the church now. Amen. Lift up your hands. The Lord says he's going to deliver some people that are suffering financially. There is a demon from your family that makes you to suffer financially. Amen. The Lord says because it's a week of covenant, it's a week of covenant. The Lord says he must deliver you from financial cases. Amen. The Lord says he must deliver you from financial cases. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen. I'll shout one up to seven. You shout fire. And when you shout fire, you touch your stomach. You touch your stomach. Some of you just release yourself. You begin to vomit. You begin to vomit. I feel the deliverance grace. The deliverance grace. Some of you begin to vomit. Release yourself. This is a deliverance ministry. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Are you ready? Amen. One, two, three, four. Fire! Shout! Fire! 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 All over your mouth. Your stomach. Your stomach. Your stomach. Your stomach. All over your body, your body, your body, financial cases, drop, 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 break, break. Bring all those that are manifesting. Bring them, bring them, bring them. In Jesus' name, lift up your hands. One, two, three, seven. Anyone that close your doors, your doors are opening. Your doors are opening. Financial doors are opening. Marital doors are opening. Powers from your family that close your doors. They are opening right now. Your doors. Your doors. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them. Rako Shoprakata. Fire. 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 Fire! 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 Command the 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 fire! 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 so much on deliver bring bring them here bring them here bring them here 
I break the power. Break. Loser. Loser. Break that power. I break the power. I break the power. Come out. Come out all over your body. All over your body. All over. Bring it here. Bring it here. All over your body. Your body. Your body. Your body. Bring her here. Fire. What have you done to her? Hey, what have you done to her? What have you done to her? See What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Hey, what have you done to her? Whatever you fed her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. A woman, if you I command that demon to leave you right now. I command that demon to leave you right now. One, two, three, seven! 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 Command them, command them, command them. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Jesus, you demon, go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Hold that woman. Hold that woman. Hold her. That demon, go. Go out of her. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come out. Come out. In Jesus. Jesus, mighty name. Go out of her. The time of deliverance has come. Bring her here. 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 That power. Fight. Lose her ministry. Lose her contracts. Lose her contracts. Come out of her. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Thank you, Lord. Divorce her. Divorce her. Divorce her. Look at me. Look at me. Bring it here. Put a demonic masquerade over your face. I remove it. Thank you, Lord. You are free. Jesus. Release a womb. Release a Release a womb. Release a womb. Stand up. Stand up. Go and have your child. Go. It's done. This man was vomiting blood. This man. Look. He's vomiting blood. He's vomiting blood. He's vomiting blood. Cameraman, come, you shoot. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? Huh? You see? He's vomiting blood. The Lord says, the Lord says, can I see your handkerchiefs? Handkerchiefs. 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 I told you, you must carry it in your pocket. I told you, you must carry it in your pocket. That's what I told you. Lift up that handkerchief. All those that are watching us, you are watching me right now on uh, Facebook. All those that have shared the page, I want you to know right the power of God has touched you. In Jesus' name, your life will never be the same again. I just see the angels right now of God delivering you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take that handkerchief. Wipe your face. Say, Father. Father. 
in the name of Jesus. Wherever I shall go. Those who are sharing the handkerchief, you have just shared your favor. Say, Father, this week, wherever I will go, I receive favor over my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Put the two hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Sit down. Sit down. The Lord has done it for you. All those that are watching right now on Facebook. I want you right now, this Sunday, you're having a massive, massive, massive service. And uh, it's going to be a prophetic, prophetic service, deliverance service, healing service. So I personally invite you to be my guest on Sunday. And uh, all those that are on uh, Facebook, I want you to invite five people to this Sunday service. It's going to be amazing. We are going to start early. We are going to start exactly nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, we are going to start. So don't come late. Remember that uh, we have changed our services. So come on time so that uh, you can receive from God. I can prophesy to you. I can have more time with you. So I wish to see you this Sunday. I want you to be my guest and I'm ready for you. This Sunday, I am prepared. My heart is prepared for you. Remember that the Lord raised me for you. He did not raise me for myself. He raised me for you. So come this Sunday, the Lord will touch you. Shalom, shalom. Clap hands for Jesus.